Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Lecrang and I'm here uh, to help you fix the game stirring and the bad FPS in uh, the Battlefield 4 beta. Now, uh, like many of you know, I mean the beta's out. Uh, it's, it has been out for at least one day now, but a lot of people are getting some really bad stuttering and the FPS, I mean, it's it's not that bad on some systems and on other sim systems it's really really bad so this is how you are gonna fix it uh, this might not work on every single system it did on mine and it did on a lot of people's uh, a lot of other people's system so this is how you this is what you want to do to try and fix it now uh, what you want to do uh, is go to your computer shortcut then go to your game install directory. Most people it's gonna be on C, mine is on D. So then you go to program files x86 since it's a 64-bit game. Uh, you wanna go to origin games, Battlefield 4 beta. You wanna go to installer, DirectX folder, Redist and then you want to scroll down up until you find the dx setup.exe now you want to run this exe agree to accept the agreements then uh yeah just install it this should take a few minutes um now the reason why this is the the main cause of the stuttering is because um uh, this this setup actually doesn't run once you preload the game and it installs the game. It actually didn't run, so it doesn't update your uh, DirectX. Now, on some computers also, what I've seen on the forums so far, uh, it actually doesn't work at all. Uh, they get an error while, while uh, trying to uh, run this. Uh, for some reason, there might be a problem with the uh, their Windows version. I would recommend maybe doing all your Windows updates. Mine are completely done. They're uh, all on the latest version. So that might help out. But yeah, some people are having issues with it, but this is what you wanna do. You wanna install the latest version of DirectX and uh, it should um, fix your issue. Uh, at least on the stuttering end. So you go to finish. Um, then if you if you couldn't uh, if this one didn't work out you can always go to Microsoft's um, main site which is Microsoft.com and now this it's probably en dot us for most people on my end ca and you want to go to uh, search for direct x end user runtime web installer now what this is gonna do I already downloaded it. Um, it's basically the same thing. It's the same installer. Uh, don't install the Bing bar. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna search your computer, see what version you have, and if you don't have the latest version, it's gonna update. And I'm pretty sure this, the version we're running with Battlefield 4 should be 11.1. So yeah, uh, mine is newer equivalent version, so it doesn't install. This is one of the ways you can find uh, the direct X and user runtime um, if the one in your uh, folder doesn't work. Now, the second thing you want to do is update your drivers to the latest NVIDIA drivers. So, um, if you go to the forums, you can actually find the links. If you go in Battlefield 4 beta bugs and issues, you can go on low FPS fix beta drivers. You can find those uh, the drivers for AMD and for NVIDIA. Now on my end, I'm running a GTX 680, so I chose NVIDIA one. If you click on it, uh, you should bring it should bring you to this site where you click on this first link up here, and you just choose your uh, your um, uh, card your card uh, in the drop down menus. Now, a lot of people were saying to downgrade to uh, GeForce 320.49 drivers, and that's actually what I did yesterday. Uh, I was getting some really bad FPS and stuttering on the beta drivers, so I downgraded. Uh, and it actually improved my FPS uh, a lot yesterday. 
the problem is that after updating my direct x um and trying to run the game i was getting some really really low fps like yesterday i would get between 40 and 50 with some huge stuttering and after updating direct x i was getting about 15 to 20 on these drivers uh, so what I did is I reinstalled the beta drivers and after updating my direct X uh, They were actually working perfectly fine uh, These drivers were uh, so let me show you what you want to do you want to Launch these drivers now. It's gonna unpack the folder just take a few seconds and uh, yeah, what you want to do is you want to do a clean install. Uh, you should always do this no matter what drivers you're installing, uh, no matter what graphic drivers you're installing, I mean. Um, but especially in this case, uh, you want to really do a clean install. Uh, now how you do this is uh, you're gonna wait for the system check to be done, then you agree and continue. Uh, you, wanna, you don't want to choose Express the recommended option you want to go to advanced pick next now everything should be checked already for you what you want to check is this box perform a clean installation uh, this is going to completely remove all the previous drivers you had and put put the new ones in uh, this is very important I would do this every single time you install some graphical drivers now I'm not going to do it right now because I've already done it but yeah, this should improve your performance a lot. Uh, having both the DirectX and update and the NVIDIA drivers update. Now, uh, just a quick example. Um, this is my GPU Z. It shows me how my GPU is doing. Um, Battle for 4 is right now running in the background. As you can see, I'm getting around, uh, I mean, it's around 80 sometimes it jumps around 85 75 70 uh, percent GPU load uh, yesterday I was getting about 50 50 to 55 GPU load and this is with my game out tab if my game if I bring my game back up uh, it's actually gonna jump up to 95 to 100 as far as GPU load uh, so yeah uh, this actually solved all my issues um, I'm now getting uh, around 60 FPS with the random FPS drop to about 45 to 50 uh, when the building comes down. Um, but no stuttering at all. It's uh, buttery smooth. No matter what server I go in, even on 64 player servers. So uh, yeah, I really hope that this fix helps you, you guys out. Um, like I said, it might not work for every single PC it might not work for uh, every single setup, but it did for me and it did for uh, a few other people I've spoken to on the forums. So yeah, um, if you like the video, uh, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe, uh, and share the video to your friends if they're having similar issues. So uh, thanks, guys. Have a good day.